Hello everyone, this is PC Death Gamer. Welcome back to another episode of GoGo -Go Nippon. Uh, last we left off, of course, well, we were still working our way up Mount Taco. And we finally got to the summit where now we're. We just got, um. Done eating. So. Hey, she's your feet. <clears throat> they say hunger is the best seasoning. The air is refreshing here, too. It's really soothing. I feel completely recharged. So, do you want to walk around some more? Of course, we walk back the way we came. That kind of seems boring. Why don't we go down another way? Is there somewhere you'd like to go? Good idea. Good I wow. <laughs> Good idea. Let's look at the map. Hey, there's a suspension. A suspension bridge. I'd like to see the suspension bridge. Uh, suspension suspension bridge? Oh, that's right. You're afraid of heights, aren't you? I'm not afraid of them. I'm just not very good with them. You're afraid of them. Still, that I still think that means you're afraid of them. Should we take a pass on the suspension bridge then? Uh, I'm fine. I can handle a suspension bridge. You don't have to force it, okay? I'm not forcing it. Okay, we'll go down trail number four. It has a suspension bridge. Are you sure it's okay? Yeah. Whoa. It feels a lot more like mountain climbing than that last trail. There are a lot of trees. The air feels even cleaner than before. Now that my energy is all recharged, I can walk down this mountain without t breaking a sweat. The ground is a little slippery, but it's a nice walk. There aren't many people either. Let's take our time. Sure. Oh, someone's coming from up ahead. Hello. Oh, hello. H hello. Does this feel great? It sure does. Wow. This feels great. Uh, Akira, what's wrong? I was just surprised at how you said hello to those people. You didn't do that before? There were a lot of people on that path. I figured if I started saying hello, I'd never get to stop. Oh. Is there a custom in Japan that you don't greet people when you walk by them? No, it's not that. If someone says hello, we'll say it back. But I think maybe we're hesitant to be the first to speak. Hmm. That's a good point. Japanese people are shy. Maybe so, but it does feel good to give a cheerful greeting. Right? It's basic courtesy. Hey, more people are coming. Let's give them a cheerful greeting. Hello. 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 Nice weather we're having there. Everyone just responds like it's normal. I'm surprised. That's right. Japanese people are shy, but they're good people. It feels good to say hello, right? Yeah, it does. The air isn't just fresh. It's invigorating. I just feel more and more energized. And let's say hello to everyone who passed by. Everyone? Can we really greet everyone? Sure we can. See, someone's coming. That's an elementary school class. There's, there are 30 of them. Are you going to say hello to every one of them? Of course. Come on, let's go. Hello. Hello, 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 hello. Uh, we'll never get to stop. <laughs> This road's gotten pretty dangerous, hasn't it? Yeah, a little, but I think we're almost to the suspension bridge. Ah, is that it? I can see it through the trees. Oh, you're right. Whoa, this really is a sign. Are you okay, Akira? It's okay, I can handle it. She's looking a little pale. Is she really okay? Then why don't I go first? Sure, you go first. Okay, I'm going. Careful at first, slowly, slowly. Hey, this bridge is pretty sturdy. It's not even swaying very much. Really? Then I'll go too. Hey, you're right. It's not swaying much at all. Uh, we're still pretty high. We're still up pretty high. Don't look down. As long as you don't look down, it's just a normal bridge. I know, but I guess it's a little scary after all. This isn't there something called a suspension bridge effect? I wonder if Akira might. No, this is not the time for daydreaming. I need to get Akira to the other side. Akira, your hand. Huh? You want to hold hands? I said I'm fine. It's okay, just do it. Uh, now grab the bridge firmly with the other. You feel better, don't you? Yeah, I do. You're pretty reliable. Really? That's great. I got a compliment from Akira. 
Boy, acting all cocky and help me get to the other side. Leave it to me now, my lady. Let's proceed. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I can see a station. Do you think this is the cable car station? Yeah, it looks like it. Yay, we made it. I feel exhausted, but... Pleasurably accomplished. So, can we take the cable car all the way down? Yeah, it looks like it. Six minutes to the station at the foot of the mountain. Then we board a train and our journey for the day is done. Then we just get the ride for a while. Okay, that's one I never heard. Or if you heard. Oh, to Sukaris? I don't even know. Oh, good sir, Alma, to you. You're more reliable than I expected. Did it give you a better opinion of me? How about we climb Mount Fuji next? You're getting all cocky again, but I'll let you just for today. <laughs> it's one thing I do want to eventually do is climb Mount Fuji. And now we're back home. <sighs> it was another full day. Uh, that's right, it's time for dinner. Oh, what's for dinner tonight? Our curious cooking is so delicious, I always end up overeating. Let's say Japanese food is really good for you. Mm. Oh, actually, that's weird. This is usually when I smell the delicious aroma of dinner coming from the kitchen. Huh? Kira's not here, and nothing's been prepared for dinner. Instead, I hear something in the distance. Is that the sound of taco drums and flutes, too? Oh, there you are. I went to your room, but you weren't there. Makoto, do you hear that sound? Yeah, it's got a real folklore feel to it, but it's kind of exciting too. What is it? Hey, there's a festival festival in the at the nearby shrine today. A festival? Although it's not a very big one, they put up stalls on the shrine grounds. That's all. They have festivals at shrines, right? Yes, Japan has traditionally been a polythetic country. All the people are honoring different gods. So a variety of shrines hold festivals targeted to the people in their own re regions. Huh? Do you know the Japanese term, Harunohi? Harunohi, isn't that about the weather? It's derived from the same concept. To put it simply, you take a day to recover the energy you spent during your everyday life. In other words, you gradually use up your energy day after day, so the day you spend restoring it is called Harunohi. Harunohi. Blessed days like weddings are also considered Harnohi. So today is a Harnohi, I take it. That's right. This is the day you would go to the shrine and restore your dwindling spirit. And the reason this that sound is so exciting is because of this Harnohi, right? Hey, hey, that's right. Uh, does that mean we're going to the festival? That festival now? Right. Then let's get going. I want to see a Japanese festival. Well, about that, would you mind heading to the festival plaza on your own? Huh? On my own. Yeah, the two of us have something to do. We'll meet you there la later. What they're actually doing is w probably what they should do. Huh. Oh, don't worry. The area isn't that complicated. You have a map on your smartphone, don't you? I do, but... Then you'll be fine, right? Well, Itarashi... Oh, wait. Uh, she just forced me out before I could get a word in. What was the thing they had to do? Come on, us! Well, maybe it's better than the force to issue. Someone once said, you burn off not pursuing the secrets of women. That's probably true in Japan as well as my country. Uh, yeah. Men will never understand what is with women. Oh, well, they said they'll come later, so I guess I just go to the festival by myself. Um, turn here. Then a left here. Huh? I'm lost. You're joking, right? I got lost in a random residential area. No, I guess it's because this is a random residential area without any landmarks that I got lost. A time like this, you need to keep calm for now. I made it back this far, so... Uh, it's my phone. Hello? Where are you right now? 
Um, huh? I'm in front of the station. The station? What are you doing there? Well, I got a little lost. Uh, what are you even doing? Aki-chan, give it to me. Hello, it's me. Oh, Makoto. We arrived at the shrine before you. Are you okay? Can you make it here by yourself? If you can't, we can meet up, meet you at the station. I'll be fine. I can make it by myself. Really? You know you're getting closer once you see a lot of people heading for the shrine. So it should be recognizable. Yeah, I understand. I'll go there now. I screwed up. This time I won't get lost. Get lost again. I see. I got on the wrong street the first time. If I turn here... I can hear the music from the festival. Oikoto and Akira. Ah, you made it. This way. Ah, uh, ow. Yep, they are in Komodos. Uh. 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 Huh? What's wrong? Kimono. Wonderful. It's amazing. Why are you dressed like that? Why? We put them on, obviously, at home. <laughs> that would surprise you. That's why I asked you to meet us here. But then you went and got lost. You really are hopeless. I'm sorry. But it's still a really nice surprise. But why are you dressed like that? It's customary for girls to dress like this for festivals. Really? But it's a waste to only do it for festivals. You should wear them all the time. Oh, I wouldn't want that. It's pretty uncomfortable. Really? Yes, the Obi is very tight, so it's much more uncomfortable than you think. And if we wore it every day, it wouldn't feel special. That's true, even so. It really is great. So, what do you think? About what? About how we look. Is it, um, weird? You look really cute, of course. He said it. Isn't that nice, Aki-chan? I wasn't asking because of that. Besides, I bet he wasn't talking about me. He's talking about you, Onei-chan. No way, I meant that you both look really cute. Yeah. I see, so I'm included as well. Thank you. Now that I look again, there really are a lot of girls here in Kimono, but these two, out of them all, they could really turn a lot of guys' heads looking like this. Japanese women really do look great in Komodo, huh? That's right, however, what you said is innocent. Incorrect. What is? This isn't a kimono, it's a yaku ya ooh, yukata. I'm trying to think what's the difference between a kimono and a yukata. Yukata? How's that different from a uh, kimono? Well, it's a type of kimono, I suppose you could call it a simple kimono. A simple kimono? Yes, with a kimono you have to wear several layers beneath it and the obi is difficult to tie. They're quite difficult to wear. I couldn't put one on by myself. I see. By, compar by comparison, I get a yukata is easier to put on. It's also cooler than a kimono and you can put it on by yourself. It was originally used after a bath or as pajamas. If you stay at in the hot springs, they typically provide you with simple yuk yukata to wear. You've never seen it on TV? Now she mentioned it, whenever I see a hot spring in a Japanese guidebook, there's always a picture of, war of a woman wearing a kimono. I see, so it's called a yukata, huh? Of course, the yukata we wear to events like these are much more elegant than the hot spring ones. There are a bunch of cute obi nowadays too. That's true, I see a lot of people with different patterns on their y yukatas and obi. Uh, the obi's the sash, is what they're talking about. Anyway, it's a festival, a festival. You want to look around for a while, right? Right, there's no point staying around talking forever. I want the I want to eat a candy apple. That sounds nice. I think I'll get some kind of candy. Really? Now that you mention it, there are a lot of stalls here. <clears throat> Lots of food and stalls with various wares. Hmm? What's that stall over there? Huh? Crap, I got separated from them. Hey, Makoto, Kira. Oh, well, I guess I'll wander around for a bit. Oh, there he is. Akira, thank goodness. Anei-chan, this way. 
Jeez, she disappeared the second we took our eyes off you. Really, we searched everywhere. Two still seem to be carrying a lot of food, though. Oh, well. As long as we're here, we wanted to enjoy ourselves a bit. A bit, huh? Now, now, don't give us that look. We can eat it all together, right? That's right. It'll get cold if we don't eat it. Uh, that's true. It all smells really good. They're all foods I've never seen before. Where should we eat first? Hmm, well, if it's a festival, it's gotta be this. Ah, yep. The <laughs> Where are those little ball things? Takoyaki! Takoyaki. ta ko ya -ki. A piece of octopus and a flower based batter. Oh, I really. I eventually want to learn how to actually make takoyaki. Octopus? You mean those wiggly. those wiggly things? A lot of foreigners don't like eating the octopus, do they? Really? But it's so delicious. Just try one, it's good. Really? Well, if we do it this way, say, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, oh, I just did it reflexively. Ah! I, is this the wrong person feeding you, too? Ciao. It is hot! What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Pipe. Piping hot takoyaki that leaves you panting while you eat it is the best kind. It's certain tasty, the flavor of the sauce is great match for the texture of the octopus. But it really is hot. Gee, drink some of this. Thanks. What is this? How did you open it? Ah! Oh. <laughs> Ramona! Use this little tool, put this protruding section over the bottle cap and apply pressure inwards. Ramona! In words like this. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Whoa, it overflowed. I gotta drink it fast. Huh? What's going on? I tried to drink it, but now nothing's coming out. Look, look carefully at the bottle. Look at Oh, there's a glass bead in the neck. When I tilt the bottle over, drink it, the glass bead stopped the opening. Yes, so you see the dent in the bottle? Try to drink it so the bead gets caught in there. So it gets caught in there, huh? Okay. It's not easy, but... It's sweet and tasty soda water. It's called Ramuna. Ramuna. It's diluted lemonade, apparently. Even though lemonade is entirely different drink. Yes, and it's actually a good fucking thing. Blueberry, strawberry, watermelon, original, orange. I think those are the only five flavors I've had. I haven't had any others yet. That's true, but why does it have such a weird shape? When you carbonate the contents, the pressure forces the glass bead to seal it. See? I see, so you could recycle it even if you had if you only had the bottle. I hear Ramona bottles originated in England. You've never seen one? That's right, this is my first time. Unfortunately, it seems England no longer produces them. But as you can see, Japan continues to make them. It's mysterious, isn't it? The only change in the shape of the bottle, but somehow it makes it, it tastier. Well, what shall we eat next? There are candy apples, cotton candy, yakisoba, and how much did she buy? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, if you guys did enjoy this episode, do make sure you hit that like button or leave a comment below. If you want to see any more of this episode or any other episodes, any more of this episode of this series or any of other series, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Anyway, this is PC Death Gaming. So, Hope you enjoyed it and keep playing on. See ya.